An update now on a story you saw exclusively first on 10. A pair of crooks are behind bars accused of targeting seniors for their jewelry. It is the second time they've been arrested after more victims came forward. Local 10's Hats Avella live down in West Miami Dade with much more. Hats all. Calvin, we know at least one of those individuals has been rebooked, likely will be spending the night here in jail. This as Hialeah police detectives are working with other agencies trying to figure out if these guys were doing the same thing in other places. Right now, live. Are Leanne Morejon live when they're brought out? Why are you targeting the elderly? For the second time, Hialeah police arresting this pair, alleging they're part of a group of thieves targeting the elderly, and the victims keep coming forward. More and more people continue to show up to claim that these are the same people responsible for their thefts. More victims means more charges on the already long list. 32-year-old Avante Miklescu, 20-year-old Olanda Miklescu, and 28-year-old Christina Serbo, all facing charges of strong armed robbery and grand theft. When they were first arrested, police say they found this trio in a Hialeah neighborhood on Thursday. A six-year-old child in their care was taken into DCF custody. Yesterday, one of our detectives had a gut feeling. He spots the female that's gone viral already, recognizes her right off the bat, and inside the car, in her possession, we find tons of jewelry. We told you about the case of this abuelita in Hialeah, targeted by people who police believe is the same group taking a precious golden religious pendant from her. In Westchester, same M.O. This time, the victim is an 88-year-old man, but he doesn't fall for it, and they leave empty-handed. Que los cojan y que los castiguen. Victims want them caught and punished. Half their wish came true today. If they're committing these crimes in our city, we won't stop until we find you. And so investigators are uh, making sure that folks out there know that if you think you've been a victim, you should call your police department. By the way, these folks expect it to go before a judge sometime tomorrow. For now, reporting live from West Miami-Dade, I'm Hatzel Fala, Local 10 News. Hatzel, thank you.